Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Thursday morning. It's October 20th. It's 4.35 a.m. Happy Thursday. This is a little show I've been doing for quite some time. It's a show about me sharing some feelings I'm having, some emotions I'm dealing with, the roller coaster that is life at times. Uh, And for those that have been watching a while, you know it's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of me. And I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. I'm so excited to take my first sip at this crazy early hour. Cheers to us. Ah. Pumpkin spice. Mm. I've been drinking the pumpkin spice for, I don't know, about two months now. Just thinking I'd probably get tired of it. The seasonality of wear off. It's not happening. Still loving the pumpkin spice. <laughs> Might be the perfect flavor for coffee. Maybe whoever thought of it's on to something. How you guys doing? <laughs> How you feeling? How'd you sleep? I slept horribly. <laughs> I was up. Uh, I had a, a very emotional week, challenging week. Uh, and it's sad because this week shouldn't be challenging. It should be a joyous week. Uh, but it's been hard. And it's just kind of a continuation of what's going on over the last uh, year. And year plus, honestly. And honestly, uh, last night I was laying in bed and I couldn't sleep and I was thinking all these thoughts, these bad thoughts. And uh, I had a friend uh, take the time to talk to me on the phone for about half an hour and uh, reassure me that I wasn't alone and that, you know, my feelings were valid and that my emotions meant something and that what I do means something. And it made me feel so good. Um, you know, because last night I was feeling very alone on an island, and that's not a nice place to be. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I've learned a lot over the last year. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to talk about it, but I probably will anyway. I've learned that women can be every bit as abusive as men. And that if a woman cries abuse about a man, uh, even if the allegations are false. Crazy people will get outside the man's door with pitchforks and torches screaming for vengeance. And if a man says he's being abused by a woman, people tend to roll their eyes and think, yeah, well, you know, it's probably hormones or make excuses for the woman no matter how vicious the attacks come, honestly. And tell the man to focus on his career. Bring the woman flowers. <laughs> I tell you, last time I brought a woman flowers, she called the cops on me and filed a restraining order. I kid you not. And I think there's something wrong, and I think there's something broken in our society, the way we treat men and women, that we put women on this pedestal and just assume because they're women that they're pure and good and honest and fair and decent. And that a man is down here because he's a man and a man should be, I don't know, out working and bringing home the bacon and whatever. And I don't, I don't know, this might offend some people, but I, I just tell you, it's not right. I watched the exact same thing happen to my brother, Steve, over the last few years, and it's happening to me. And nobody does or says anything. Uh, And maybe there's nothing that can be done or said, but I'll tell you what's happening is wrong. And uh, I just wanna thank John for listening to me last night and talking me through my stuff and acknowledging my feelings and, you know, let me know he believed in me. So I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to have one more sip of coffee. Mm. 
I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you are loving yourself. I hope you are forgiving yourself. I hope you're excited about this day because I know that I am despite the challenges I face. Uh, I think the challenges we face make us stronger in life. And I'm continuing to dig through some yucky stuff and we'll continue to dig through that yucky stuff. Um, because I think what I'm doing here means something and is important. And I don't want you guys to feel alone on an island um, in the morning. And uh, I hope me doing this uh, makes you feel a little bit better every day. So I'm going to leave you with that. Thanks for watching. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.